Hello, hello, I am here. Window on. Silly overlay off. And assuming I did everything right-ish. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today, um, uh, yesterday uh, an intelligent person acci accidentally walked into the stream um, and mentioned that I could try instead of modeling COVID as uh, the death rate is exponential or linear or anything like that, I could even try to create a model of COVID uh, that, that made some sort of sense uh, based on what we know, and he even pointed me to a page that I have forgotten about. Um, but that sounds like something that's sort of interesting to do. So let's, let's try, and I want to emphasize here two things. One is, um, I'm going to name this file bccovid2.mac. Uh, which is very confusing because you would think that would be an upgrade to bccovid.mac and even using the .mac extension is a bad idea because it you know some people would think macintosh so that is the first terrible thing i'm going to do uh, let's go ahead and do that and it's, of course it's .mac because it's maxima which is now of course spelled differently in a different program but it contains the original the second bad thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to well this is actually a good thing i'm going to point out that modeling stuff like this is very inaccurate. You shouldn't rely on it. Uh, it's more of a fun mathematical exercise. And when people start using math in the real world, they make a lot of mistakes. Uh, and so I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to say this is a real world model. I'm going to say this is a theoretical model of uh, some disease that some theoretical people could get. But please don't apply it to the real world because I'm very much opposed uh, to, it is Pomodoro time. I'm going to skip it uh, for the first time. And um, and I do want to emphasize that... Uh, ooh, hang on. Whoa. Sorry, I got an email that I has nothing to do with you guys. <laughs> got distracted very easily. Um, so I do want to emphasize this is like a mathematical model. This is like a, a, a joke, a game. Please do not take this seriously. Please do not assume that it is this simple to model anything in the real world because the real world is very complicated. Having said that, uh, let's go ahead and define some variables. And I was hoping to define one letter variables, but I just don't see that happening. And because we're using recursion, or we will be, uh, the, uh, we're going to have to also use square brackets and maxima. So without further ado, a doo -doo, um, number, so the pop I will be the population on day I, the total population. Now, I got to be careful here um, because even without a virus, people still di are die and are born. And the question is, do we want to uh, consider the number of people that are dying and being born? Or are they irrelevant to our model? I don't know. Um, Let's see. Okay. Total number of people who have died from virus. We're just going to call it a virus. Uh, but we're going to... We're going to say it's not the COVID-19 virus. It's just a virus. The total number of people who have died from the virus. That's a reasonable number to have. R0, which is a fixed number. It's not going to... It's not going to change per day. Um average number of people a given person can infect. Um, so that's going to be a fixed number. Um, I guess I'll call it uh, R0 because that's what they call it. S0. We'll just call this S. Susceptibility. Suspectability. God damn it. Hang on. Susceptibility. I don't think this we have a defined word here. We do, oh wow. No, we can't do that. Uh, but how um, chance someone will get virus if exposed? Um, average number of people a given person can expose to virus per dia. Per, per day. Now, the normal rate, uh, according to the very smart person who came into my chat yesterday, it was given per week. Uh, the R0 for uh, COVID was given as two, but that it means double it. Once one person can infect, you know, two others um, in a given in a given week. 
not to others in a given day. Okay, so we, these are some of the variables we looked at. Let's look at some others. Um, uh, total number of people who are infected with virus. And then Rikov, I probably should have made these the same length, but anyway. Total number of people who have recovered from virus. Okay. So that's, that's pretty simple. Um... Now, the one problem we're not going to be able to model that easily is there is a delay with all of this stuff. Uh, even the people who are susceptible to the disease um, and die from it won't die immediately. Uh, we're going to try doing the model with the assumption that all of this is instantaneous, but we might have to revise our numbers. We might have to revise the model. Um... And by the way, this is, this is the number we have in real life. The only really reliable number, and even this isn't that reliable, is the number of deaths. And we do kind of know what the population is. Although there might be issues of clustering, for example. The population in Newark, New York City, that sort of metropolitan area, uh, is sort of a separate cluster than, you know, let's say the population in Albuquerque, New Mexico, or Santa Fe because those, those are very different areas, and those people from Albuquerque don't really interact that much with people from Newark, New York, that sort of metropolitan area there. Um, but that's, that's we're going we're gonna to gloss over that for right now, and, but that, that we, we, we're going to try to see if we can get our numbers to match the death rate. Uh, so is this, let's see, and there's another issue here, um, uh, chance someone will die after getting virus. Okay. Because there are people who will get the virus but will recover from it and the remainder of them will, will not recover from it and will die. Okay. <coughs> um, so let's see if we can work out some of these numbers uh, using recursions, obviously. So we're going to start off with our um, our fundamental estimation that I think this is actually this, that um, on day one, there's one sick person. Again, this is patient zero, if you want to call him that. Um, hang on one second. Uh, whatever you want to call him. Um, and this time, we're just going to start our maximum by itself. We're not going to use the... God damn it. We are, however, going to fix the shell mount. All right. Um, so this is the one, this is the sort of our base case, and we don't, we'll even say P0 is the, uh, you know, which is actually, n doesn't say do an initial population. Uh, we don't really want to put a number on that right now. Okay. Um, but we will say POP0 is P0. And of course we could have just left it as P0, POP0, but just to make, just to give us a little flavor of sort of having our default conditions. Okay, so how many people are going to... Uh, let's, let's see if we can work these numbers now. Um, the number of people who are going to... Now, again, we're going to have fractional people, but that's totally okay. The number of people who are going to die on day one... Oh, so, well, okay, now hang on. For the rest of this, we're going to see how many people are going to die on a given day, given what happened on the previous day. We're going to assume every sort of action takes, takes one day. Um, so we've got to be careful how we start with this, because these relations will get a little bit complicated. Um, so the number of people who are going to be sick of, uh, on day, and this is a set equal because it's a recursion, how is that going to relate to what we had? Well, it's going to re uh, relate to the people who were sick on day I, the previous day, um, multiplied by how many people they've spread it to, but... Um, we know that there is only a percentage S that are susceptible to it. So, um, let's see. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so this is, uh, if he infected everybody, you know, if this was like 10, just for an example, he would infect 10 people, but no, because not everyone's susceptible, that goes down. Um, he also cannot infect people who are recovered. So we have to do, and again, this is not going to be a huge number here, but 
we're going to also say that, okay, so you can get people sick, 10 people sick, except those weren't susceptible. Um, but also, the, the um, there's a small chance he's going to run into someone who's already recovered from it and can't be infected again. So we'll, we'll do this. This should be a lot of... Now, of course, we have to do... We have to be very careful not to run into a loop here. Um, the number of people who are going to be dead from this virus on day... Um, are going to be the number who are sick on day I times the number who are... And I think this is correct for... I think this is correct because we have the number of people who are sick. Um, yeah, I think that, that this is right. The number of people who are recovered... Um, now, again, I'm going to assume people recover in one day, so it's going to be the number of sick people. Um, and is this the total number? Or hang on one second here. Um, okay, this is getting ugly. Um, okay, so it's going to be total number. So actually, sorry, this is going to be dead of I plus sick I times. This is going to be the number of people who were sick yesterday. I'm going to be careful here. Mm, yeah. Minus the number of people who recovered yesterday, plus the number of new people who got sick today uh, because they were... Um, new people got sick because the people who were sick yesterday made new people sick. I think that's correct. I mean, this thing's going to blow up in my face anyway, so that's why I'm not caring too much. Um, okay. So the number of dead people, the number of recovered people, is again, we're going to have the people who were recovered already, plus the number of... Uh, this is going to go so horribly wrong. So let's, let's say... Uh, let's also... Let's give some base conditions here. No one's recovered on day one because no one's been sick day one. And the number of dead on day one is also going to be zero. Okay. That might help control this because I think... I think then we have a base case for all of these variables. Okay. And so the population on... This is going to go horribly wrong. Is going to be the previous population... Um, minus the number of people who died on that day. Okay. And what am I missing here? Susceptibility, death rate... All right, let's just run this. It's going to be so terrible that it's not going to work. Uh, I mean, this is so horrible. I just want to do it for the sake of, of doing it. Whoa. Um, oh, shit. Hang on. I actually did this on my other machine earlier. Haha, -ha, cheated. Um... And I think it actually has to be I, I minus one. I think you have to do it that way. Let me check. This did work. Oh, yeah, it is. You have to, you can't say I plus one. You have to say... I'm going to make this either a little bit... I'm going to move this over here, I think. There we go. Uh, and we're going to stop this and bring it back up. Yeah, so you have to actually say um, the number of sick people on day I is the number of sick people on day I minus one. Um... Oh, and I guess technically, um, you also need to get, the number of dead people are no longer sick. I mean, it's a little bit gory, but it's true. Uh, dead people are not sick people. Okay. Um, oh, come on, give me a formatting on this. Number of people who were dead yesterday, plus the number of people who were sick yesterday and have just gone ahead and died now. The number of people who recovered was all, we are already recovered, plus the number of people who were sick yesterday and um, do not 
are sort of the anti-death rate. Population is the same population as yesterday minus the number of people who died yesterday. Again, I think this is crap. I don't think this is going to work. I was not loved enough as a child, but let's see what this does. So let's see how many people are sick on day... This is just a base case. How many people are sick on day one? Interesting. Um, in the sense of not at all interesting. Okay, so let's see how many people are dead on day one. Dead on day two? Okay. This is cool. If I, think I, if I do dead on day 10, I'm going to end up with an expression so incredibly evil. Actually, we might crash. Yes, we crashed it. Um, so obviously, we're going to have to put in some numbers here, I think, is the, is the issue. Otherwise, we're just not going to get... Um, the, 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 the expression is so complicated, even for day 5. For day... S yeah, it's, we're just not going to get anywhere with this. All right. So let's put in some numbers. Um... Let's go ahead and do an R of um, 2 to the 1 7th, which would be basically um, saying the, the weekly R is, is, is 2. Um, susceptibility, let's go ahead and get, put that at 1. Oh, this actually looks nicer when we do it this way. Meaning everyone can get it. Death rate, we're going to put at... I think maybe we can estimate it's like 0.04, maybe. Again, we're, these are very... And P0, because we're only doing a test, let's say is 10,000. Um, and I get the feeling that P0... If you scale P0, it's not going to change anything. But again, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Um, I just like playing with numbers. All right. So dead on day zero, we, it should be zero. Dead on day one, okay. Dead on day two. And what is that number actually? I, I might have to start. Okay, dead on day five. Okay. So I guess we could now create a... Um, we could do this. We could do make list dead on day i i goes from 1 to 10 and okay and one problem here is because we're going to keep exact numbers it's going to end up effing everything so we're going to fix that in just a second here um actually let's fix it while it's doing this wonderful printout let's go ahead and actually when we do these estimates let's go ahead and convert them to floating points so we don't have to keep them in this hideous form okay And again, I would like to emphasize that this is stupid. All right, one more time. And you know what? If we're going to be this, if we're going to do this, we might as well do this right. So I'll go ahead and put a formula around this. So these will load automatically, quote unquote, automatically. When I do maxima two, so let me see, get um, maxima BC COVID two dot. Okay. Um, so dead on day one. Okay. Dead on day seven. Oh. Okay. All right. So apparently, negative number of people will be dead by day seven, which is which is cool, but obviously inaccurate. Um, all right. So let's take a look at number of sick people on day zero is one. Number of sick people on day one. Okay. That's hideous. Oh no, that's one plus the guy he infected, so that's cool. So the number of sick people is growing. Something's wrong. Sick people on day four. On day five, something goes wonky. So the number of dead people on day four. Um, let's do this. Let's make sure the number of dead people has to not only um, be positive, it has to increase. Okay, 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 good. So what happens when we do this? Okay, so something wonky is happening between um, 
days five and six. Okay. More sick, more sick. Fewer sick because, I mean, people do recover. So what's going on here? What did I call it? Recove. Um, all right. Clearly something has, has gone wrong. Let's see what we did wrong here. Okay. Number of people that are recovered was... Um, number of people who were already recovered were just fine. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is the total number of people who are recovered. Um, let's see. Oh, this is actually redundant, I think. The number of people who were six yesterday plus, yeah, this I think is incorrect. This needs to be, um, Number of people who are sick, minus those who died yesterday. Oh, hang on, this is dead minus one for one thing. That's bad. Uh, I don't think that's the actual problem, though. Oops, this is also, this is also minus one, okay. So I'm getting a very recursive kind of thing that I didn't want. So now am I down to just what I need? Pomodoro time, and I'll be back in two and two. That's what I actually wanted. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. That's a little bit better. Uh, so no one's dead on day one. Day two. Actually, let's go ahead and do this make list. How many people are dead on the ith day? Okay, kind of bad because... Uh, we have decreasing number of dead people, which would be nice, but it's not really possible. How many recovered people do we have? Okay, they go down too. Uh, how many? What's our population actually? Um, once again, it seems to. I think this one actually decreases consistently. Yeah. And the only other. F how many people are sick on a given day? Okay, and again, negative people being sick. Well, nice is not realistic. So what am I doing wrong here? Let's see if we can understand. Uh, we could understand just from day one, but let's let's just see if we have... Um, okay. Um, okay. 
I'm just saying, okay, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, let's see if this actually models, um, what's our simplest, I guess, our, well, we don't really, I mean, they all depend on each other, which is, which is why it's not easy. Um, okay, well, I guess we could do this. Um, <laughs> All right. Sick eye. Do we have an order that we want these in? I guess dead eye. Dead eye. <laughs> it's funny. Recover eye. And it's okay to laugh because again, these are pretend people. Um, eye goes from one to five. Let's say. Um. I'm at zero to five. Okay. I kind of wish I could put a new line between these, but I think even... Let, let's go ahead and look at this data and, and see what's going wrong. Um, let's go ahead and put that over here in a comment. And we could format this a little bit better, but we'll figure that out in just a sec here. Um, and this should help us figure out what, what we're doing wrong. And maybe I should have rounded some of this data off. But anyway. Okay. Alright. So we start off day one when we know what that's going on there. Okay, so day two. Oh, and the order here is going to be sick, dead, recovered, and pop. Okay. So day two. The number of sick people is the g one guy has infected some other guy. So he is now, um, there's now two sick people. That seems okay number of dead people um, we decided that 4% of the people die from this so the one guy is 4% dead so yes this is okay number of recovered people um, this number I think is actually divinable from this number because uh, it's the number of people who have recovered which is zero plus 96% of the guy who was who was sick yesterday is now recovered. 10,000 population has not changed. That's kind of reasonable. Okay, third day. The two sick people make another 1.3% people sick. So that's cool. The number of dead people. Well, we had um, two sick people yesterday. And they, see, what bugs me about this, though, is... Um, yeah, I get the feeling there's something wrong with the this formula here. This seems to be the bad formula. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the total number of recovered people, not the number of people who recovered yesterday. Um, so what would this be? This would be... I think this should be this number, not the total number. Okay, so this should be um, the people who were sick yesterday minus the people who got better yesterday um, minus people who died yesterday. And something tells me that this number here, though, hmm, because the problem here would be that everybody, um, yeah, the problem here is this would mean that everybody was either dead or recovered after one day, so there would be no sick people left, which is not correct. Um, so how can we get around that? How do we, how do we say the number of people sick today is the number of people sick yesterday? I mean, uh, 
the existing sick people plus the new sick people minus yeah we might have to use a deeper model than this to do that um, let's see We could go here and do something like I minus two or something, just you know. Um, although, actually, hang on, this this could be okay. Um, because this number can't be quite zero because ooh, undo whatever the hell I did there, plus this, because this would mean. Yeah, I think this number will actually... Okay, it's not... Okay, hang on. Yeah. Uh, let's just randomly do formulas until something happens. Uh, well, this looks a lot better. Okay, so maybe that was the problem. I was subtracting off all the recovered people, not just the people who recovered that day. Okay. So what this is showing here is, I mean, at least it, it, it's meaningful and it, it makes sense in the way that uh, it, it, it actually increases in the way that we want. Give me a second to BC getify this incorrect version. Um, or, you know, just corrected version. And now let's get back to this. Okay. Um, God, I wish I had someone in chat to help me out with this. We obviously don't need this anymore because it's the wrong data. Okay, so people getting sick, people recovering. People, okay. So now the question is, I, I get the feeling this is going to, this is going to, um, no shit. It still didn't work. So this time we just had to go to, like, one more to find the mistake. Um, yeah. Well, the number of sick people actually can decrease, because some of them are dead. Um, can Number of recovered people can increase. That's fine. Uh, the number of... Is it sick? Recovered? Oh, okay, hang on. Sick people dead people, recovered people, and the population. Um, yeah, something, something tells me I'm doing something wrong here, but let's, let's go ahead and go one step further and see what happens. Um, okay, that looks, let's, where did, where did it all go wrong? Hmm. Where did we go into negative numbers? There we are. Okay. So between day 11 and 12, we somehow got a negative number of sick people. Because the number of people who recovered just on that yesterday um, exceeded the number of, okay that's probably what doesn't make sense number of people who recovered I hear a voice from above I got a text message actually hang on one sec uh, let's see okay I am having uh, prostitutes delivered so uh, that shouldn't create too much of an issue, but I do have to re uh, reply to my pimp. So if you will hang on, which you won't, I won't show you, obviously. Um, okay. Uh, but I do need to keep up with that. Okay, so not a big deal. Okay, so what, what, what's wrong with this here? Um, okay, oh, this is actually not right either. 
This is the total number of dead people. Um, you know what? I think this actually just works out to uh, zero. Because this is going to be sick i minus 1 times d. So really it is just... It is effectively just the number of people who were sick yesterday. Wait. Um... It's numbers of people who were sick yesterday, and times we get new people sick, but we do need to. Is that like a minus one or something? I might need to run this recursion manually, meaning in my head. Uh, let's see. Let's make life easier and make R0. No, I'll sleep like that. Um, let's see. All right, so let's think about this. The number of people are going to be sick today were the number of people who were sick yesterday. Um, times the number of people those sick people could infect, minus the number of people who died yesterday. Uh, so let's do that. Number of people who died yesterday were the people who were sick yesterday and died, minus the number of people who recovered yesterday, which were the people who were sick the day yesterday and didn't die. I get the feeling this is going to simplify. Um, right, so we get new sick people and we get rid of the dead people and we get rid of the recovered people from the list of sick people. So this is, I think, correct, but I also get the feeling um, this simplifies. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Um, because this number here, minus something, minus one minus d times that something, It's not right though. Minus something times d minus something times this is just minus one or something. Come on, you could simplify that. Okay. I can simplify that, maybe. Um, so that's minus the sum of these, which is sick i minus 1, um, one, one that, that's just, that's just sick, so this is just going to be sick i minus 1, which actually I could have done as a, um, I could have just changed the multiplication here to be minus 1 of that whole thing, but we'll leave it like this. I get the feeling this isn't going to work either, but it'll not work for more interesting reasons. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think the problem here is the sick rate is going to go very quickly. Um, well, that might be okay, actually. What am I using for deaths? dead. Okay. Alrighty. I guess I'm going to be ready to model it as, as, as myself, I guess. Okay. Um, alright. Let's do this manually. 
Uh, day zero, one sick person. Day one, and actually now I'm going to make my life easier and make this number two. Let's make sure it still fails with this number being two. And if we want, I guess we can talk about this as being the number of weeks instead of the number of days. That, or it doesn't really matter, because again, these are fake people. Their lives do not matter. Um... So second day zero, we have interesting, but I mean, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, let's make sure the number of deaths never goes down. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the make list we had of this. Um, so the number of sick people stays right around the same number, which is kind of weird. Uh, the number of um, recovered dead people, okay. Number of recovered people, okay. Yeah, I get the feeling there's going to be, there's more to this. Um, there's more to this. Okay. Um, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we are almost back still, and we are back. Okay. So let's just do this manually. Day zero, one sick person. Day one, that sick person gets two other people sick. And what else happens? Okay, I think the thing that we need to do here is this needs to happen in order. Um, and if one isn't comfortable, we could use 10,000, but we'll just we'll stick with one. Okay. Um, and then, so th we'll check these numbers against the recursion. I, I think I know it's wrong. I think we kind of have to do these in order. We can't just... Um, we can't just do them in not order, whatever, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. Um, okay, three sick people. Dead people, um, well, the one sick person, 0.4 of him died. 
Now, I think the problem we're going to have here is of the dead person, 0.96 of him recovered. Um, which means we've kind of gotten rid of our our sick person from before. Um, and we still, we still have two new people but that have gotten sick. Uh, but the original guy has gotten unsick. So this would actually be... Um, Yeah, I think this would actually just be RO times S times whatever this is. Um, and I probably don't care about the population growth. Um, I mean, the population will be... Um, I guess the population will be P0 minus 0 0.4. Do I care? Okay. So I think this is a question of doing these in order. Um, so day two. Um, so yeah, we could just say that the number of sick people is the number of people got infected uh, because of the previous day guy but then he, the previous guy himself, all the sick people from the day before are gone, but they've created new sick people. Um, so that would be... Um, I think just that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think this is going to be just that. And honestly, I think that's going to be just almost, because we have a very small recovery rate, that's almost going to be two to the power of um, to the power of i. Wait, did I do that right? Um, yeah, I guess the last one's for float. Okay, so let's do this. So if I've done this correctly, we're going to see a sick rate that is very very close to the powers of two. Um, yeah, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Because every day, the previous people get two more people sick, but then they themselves either recover or die. Okay. And this, I think, was the fix to the model. And so the number of people get sick, it's not going to continue doubling because as more and more people... Uh, recover um, from having been sick, uh, the less and less chance you will have to infect new people. Um, so let's take a look at this. So by the time, uh, okay, there's a minus again. Again, that's not, it's not cool. How can that even be though? Um, The way I have six set up, it can't possibly decrease, right? Um, oh, okay. Oh, well, okay, hang on. So the recovered number of people can exceed the number of people. That doesn't make sense. Um, so the number of recovered people is the number of people who were sick the previous day. Uh, I'm missing something. Okay. So what I'm trying to claim here is that everybody who was sick yesterday is going to be either dead or recovered today. Okay. So... That still shouldn't break things. Um, but I'm missing something. Okay, so there was this many people. I need to somehow c 
compensate for population, which I do here, um, I mean, I could slap a max on it saying that um, the number of people who um, who recover can never be greater than the population, uh, which is true, but I don't think that, I think there's a bigger issue here that I need to deal with before I can deal with that. I don't think that's, the, there's something more wrong with the model than just having to place a max on it. Okay, so more people get sick. People recover. Uh, right, right. So what I said is the number of people who were sick yesterday um, will basically be split. Ooh. That's not cool. Alrighty, hang on a sec here. Let's just look at two days, six and seven. Okay, so what I said is the number of people who were sick yesterday, 63, should be split into, this is not, this is the number of people who are sick today. It's not what I want. Um, so these people yesterday, sick people, yeah, that's, that's not cool. Um, okay. Um, so, we might have to go, I hate to do this, but in theory we could look at the number of, of people who are, you know, recovering on a given day, but, Everyone who was sick yesterday is either dead or recovered today. And but we add to that, so it's, it's like so this these people um are either Okay, hang on, we have more news. Um uh, let's see. Okay, sorry guys, got to do something here. Um, wow. Okay. All right. Um, that was something that had nothing to do with anything. All right, so we see these 62 people are going to be... Three of them die. 60 of them recover. And now we have this many sick people. So what prevents us... What prevents us from going over the population? I mean, this number is limited because we multiply by... Um, you know, the percentage of people who can are potentially infectable, uh, which is always going to be less than... No, I don't think this limits this. Um, yeah, I think we need a much finer time step so we don't jump over the 10,000 boundary, or I am modeling this problem entirely incorrectly. Um, because even this number here, if you infect, you know, twice as many people, um, okay, one more second here, okay. All right, I, I think this might become distracting enough. Um, that I might want to just kind of, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, 
I might want to just stop the stream. Um, plus, I'm kind of stuck on this. Uh, how do I how do I adjust for the fact that um, you can never infect more? I mean, I can put a max on this, which I don't really want to do. Um, I mean, a min, but. Uh, because you can never have more people sick than the... Well, in fact, you can never have more people sick than... Um, okay. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I think there's enough going on. Um, there's enough going on here that uh, I'm going to have to end the stream. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the short stream. I also apologize... I don't apologize for the uselessness of the stream because my streams are always useless. Bye for now.